Marv, why don't you start from the beginning and tell me what this thing does? Now, basically, you input raw materials in that diamond chest in there, and then this uh, comes out of the wall with this redstone torches. Yeah. And it comes across this diamond pipe here, which which starts out basically anything that shouldn't be in the system gets sorted out and and thrown in the junk chest out front. And then it uh, this tube here accepts sticky res down the green side, goes into the extractor here. The extractor outputs back into my sorting thing here. Then sticky resins actually it bypasses the that completely and just goes around it. And then the next stage is the uh, macerators. Anything that is an ore, so copper ore, iron ore, tin ore, and coal all go down into the macerators. And each material has its own macerator. And then they come out of this uh, darker tube here, back into the system. Nope. And then they uh, come across here. And this one here, this diamond pipe, sends iron up into the white. Iron ingots up into white. And it sends copper dust, iron dust, tin dust, and sand down into the furnaces. Now the iron ingots, and you know, each one has its own furnace. And the iron ingots, that uh, top pipe up there that has the yellow and red, and then on this side it's got blue. Yeah. That's a, that's a distributor pipe. What it does is I can set, like, uh, I think that two... Don't right-click it, we might out. crash. <laughs> okay, it's got five going down the dark blue, and... First eight going down the yellow, so it's a five to eight ratio. Okay. So uh, all the ingots come up into there, and five of them go down the uh, the dark blue, which goes back into the furnace deal here, and uh, salts it into refined iron. Okay. So yeah, get your refined iron. So yeah, so five of them go down there, and then eight of them just continue on in the uh, yellow, in back into the system. They don't get we find into refined iron and then refined iron comes back in, into the system but basically that's the 5 ratio for uh, refined iron versus non refined yeah yeah then it goes back into the system uh, this this one he here pulls out the rubber and the copper which since it's after the extractor and after the furnaces you know, all the rubber and copper go in here. And then this is an automatic crafting table here. Okay. Right and that's the Mark 1 because the uh, 2 did that's not the Mark work one. Right. Yeah, Mark 2 doesn't So that makes the copper right. cables? Yeah, the Mark 1 has to pull from a uh, adjacent chest. Okay. So that's why I've got this golden chest next to it. And that's what all the raw materials... That's what the copper and the rubber flow into. Okay. And then whenever it can craft, it will start crafting. And it will send that up around into the iron pipe right here, back into the system. Okay. And then, one thing that I have here is this purple pipe down on the floor. Yeah, what does that do? Directly below the uh, chest here. Let's yeah. say this chest fills with like all rubber. Like, I've got a, a huge imbalance in, in how much I've fed my system. And this thing fills up completely with rubber without any copper in it. Yeah. Well, once it's full, the items are going to just drop to the floor. They won't, since they can't fit in the chest anymore. So they will drop, and this uh, purple pipe picks up loose items. Very nice. 
So the profile pipe feeds it back into the system. Nice, okay, that's pretty smart. So that if something overflows and I don't realize it, I don't, you know, they don't just sit on the floor lagging things and then despawn in five minutes. Yeah. Instead, they go in the, into the system. No, in, I should call it loop, because that's what I've got going here. Yeah, it's a... Okay, and so now this next salmon pipe takes the iron ingots, the refined iron, the tin, redstone, copper cables, three batteries, and iron furnaces. Oh, wow. Now, the reason that it, the reason that it has the uh, re batteries and iron furnaces is in case you put those directly in the input chest out there. Okay. The, the system can still handle things that are partly assembled. Okay, so it sends all those in here. Now, this pipe sends copper cables to the black, redstone into the white, and tin into the blue. Very nice. Okay, now the tin just goes straight through into this chest. Okay. And what is this um, crafting table meant for here? This one here is for re-batteries. Re-batteries, okay. That's... Now, as you can see, re-batteries take copper cables and redstone. Yes. And if you come over here, the yeah, uh, electric electronics over here. Turn oh, around. Okay. Here. <laughs> over here, electric circuits also require copper cable and redstone. Yeah. So I can't send all of the one chest or the other. So, back this uh, diamond pipe I've got here that that sends copper cable in, into the black and redstone. To the yep, you're in the uh, white. It then goes through distribution pipes. Okay, yeah. Those like the are redstone. the right click crash pipes. <laughs> yeah. The redstone, I have uh, a two to one ratio. Two of them go down the cyan, one goes down the blue. Okay. And then this one down low takes care of the copper cables. Very nice. Which that one's a. Uh, a twelve to one. Okay. So only one, only one goes down the dark blue, and and twelve for every twelve that goes down in, because that's the ratio the system uses finished product. Yeah. And then everything else passes directly through the yellow here. This iron pipe here is the uh, re battery, the re batteries that are crafted over there come into the system here and are directed into this diamond pipe. Okay. Now this diamond pipe sorts my iron. So I've okay. got the same thing going iron. on here. Yeah, the, the right iron goes down blue and is crafted to iron furnaces to this chest. Okay. Since there's only one ingredient that uh, this crafting bench ever uses, It'll be, you know, as soon as it builds up eight ingots in this chest, it's going to use them. So this chest will actually never overflow. Yeah. So that's why it's not a gold chest. It's just a regular chest. Yeah. But just in case something fails, I do have the purple pipe below it. Might as well. Yeah. It, the pipe runs right by it anyway. Okay, now the refined iron, I send down the red here into another distribution pipe. Okay. Which sends, uh, uh, I think two of them, I think this is a two to three ratio. Two of them go down the cyan, one goes, and two down the cyan, three down the yellow. And the cyan needs over into my electric circuits. And the uh, yellow wraps back around into the uh, wraps back around to the pipe and goes over here. Okay. Which makes the uh, generators. Generators, very nice. You can see the, uh, the recipe I used there. Yeah, that's a good recipe too. Yeah. And then the generators come out top here 
go along top. And then the electric circuits also come out here and do the same pipe. And that iron pipe in the corner here, make sure that they all go that direction. So basically I've got generators and electric circuits that come back down to the main loop out here. Okay. And then it goes into this diamond pipe, which sorts out the generators, electric circuits, glass, and coal dust. Okay. So all you need to so have the solar glass. panels, right? Exactly. Glass and soul dust come from from the uh, macerators and, and the fern wing, and they just keep going around the loop until they're accepted somewhere, which they're accepted here. Yeah. That's so cool. then that just goes into this chest, and when it has the right materials, the solar panels. Wow. Yep. This craft bench makes the solar panels, sends them up across this pipe into this iron pipe which then sends them back over here into this diamond pipe. Now what this diamond pipe does is it sends the solar panels, the finished product, down and into the chest out front. Okay. And that's where you're crafting your um, your medium voltage, right? You just take them yeah. from here and craft them from there. Yeah, and just manually craft them from there. Actually, the Probably low voltage easier. and the, me the medium voltage. Yeah. Now, let's say a chest overflows, right? Yeah. It, and it, it flows. Store. It's acting up. There we go. Okay. Okay, so, you know, let's say the electric circuits are overflowing, for instance. Or, well, I guess the copper cables. Let's say copper cables are overflowing here. They go into this purple pipe, and then they keep going around into the system. And they go right by the uh, solar panel thing. And they go all the way out here. But since this diamond pipe only allows the uh, solar panels to go down, it sends any other material that's still left in the system out front. Okay. And it, and it actually uh, drops them as an item. You know, because everything's sped up with uh, golden pipes. There's also a uh, multiplayer glitch that shows items going down the long pipes when they're actually not. Just purely a visual glitch. So to get around that, I drop them as an item. And then uh, pick them back up in the obsidian pipe. And then they flow through here. So if anything is flowing through this pipe out front here, I know there's a problem. Okay. And then I have to go in and remedy the problem. Yeah. They'll just continually ground in, in a circle until I, until I solve the problem. Very nice. I like that idea. So that's what this pipe front is for. Very cool. When my mach if there's anything going through that pipe, I know I've got a problem. Uh, do you have any materials so you could fire this thing up and show it off? Have me ores. I guess I can throw in 32 of each here. Throw in 32 coal. Um, what else? That. All right, so I will throw in copper, tin, iron, coal, sand. For the glass, and I'll throw yeah. in the craft. Yeah, and then I'll throw in a craft bench, which is which is an invalid item. Okay. And that that crafting will appear in this wooden chest. It will be removed from this system. That is cool. So no matter what you drop in there, it's gonna. Be like, no matter hey. what you drop in there. It'll be like, hey, that's not a valid item, so it'll drop it off into the wooden chest. Oh, just went, started going through the system. Yep. And like I said, in multiplayer, there's a graphical glitch that yeah. a lot of times shows the block going down the long tube. Purely graphical, it's going the right way. Yeah. As you can see, it is macerating that uh, ore. 
And you got multiple upgrades in here as well as the high voltage, the 512, or was it just the 256 yep, in here? Yep, uh, there is no 256. There's 128, oh, it's the 128 and there's 512. 512. Yeah. So this is 512. That's why I have two transfer upgrades. Okay. And I've figured out this is fast enough, no matter how fast items enter in that chest out there, everything will keep up. There is no way to overload the, uh, the system here. So this takes these ores and they're putting them in their own furnace. Yep. Which is not that one. Because... <laughs> yeah, it's much ever. Each, each one has a deal. Ah. There we go. That is... really quick. And since I'm not using the rotary machines... No, it, this only takes power when it's processing stuff. And it and only the machine needs is taking power. Very cool. And then as you can see, the copper's coming this way. What does it actually need to do something? Generators. Dying. Regular iron. Alright, yeah, I see the uh, copper cables now going through the pipelines. Yep. Along with those graphical glitches. Yeah. But keep in mind the coal dust is also going through here. I dropped in some coal. Oh yeah. It's macerated, and then it gets sent straight to the the solar. Yeah, and that's already moving over to that box right now. Okay, and and you can see the iron loop going here. How oh, it, it gets the iron, then it oh, yeah. sends some of it straight, and then others it sends back down to get refined. Yeah, I see that. That's pretty cool. That pipe works out pretty well. Ah, oh, I, I just see a generator. Yeah, I just see a um, solar panel going yep. through there. There's a solar panel. Finished product. A couple of them going through. That is really awesome. So you made a fully automated solar panel factory. It doesn't nice. do, like I said, the solar arrays or any of that. These are just the solar panels. They only provide one unit of power per tick. Yeah. You know, you, you can use the uh, tin wire for these things if you wanted. So do you got any plans for the I future for this place? Besides the quarries, obviously, but... Um, I'm going to try to stay away from quarries. Ah. Oh, you're going to use the wanna one that just does the ores? Um, well, I'm going to try and go with the brute power or the uh, brute power method using these things, these mass fabricators. I'm gonna power a bank of those things eventually, which generates matter out of energy. And see in this chest, I've got the uh, UU matter. Yeah. Nine new U Madden, the crafting grid makes a diamond. Okay. So then with the diamond through equivalent exchange I can get whatever I need. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to brute force this with energy. Very cool. Very nice. Which which is why I need a solar panel factory. Yeah. Because these like I said, one one uh High voltage solar array has a uh, EMC value of five million. Exactly. When you when you add up all the raw materials that go into it. Well, very cool. Thank you for showing me around. Yeah.
So, you remember, I threw in a crafting bench. Oh yeah, and there it is. And there it is. It's the invalid items. Yep. That's really cool. Oh, it has the finished product? Yeah. Some more has gotten in there yep. already. That's yep. really cool. More finished product there. <laughs> Alright, well, again, thank you for showing me around your place. I'm going to get out of here before you kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye.